The instruction booklet with the videotape says the following, in small type, an apology of sorts, one thinks, for the isolation one feels in learning, exaggerated or just amplified, by the actuality of isolation in the airstream locked in the plane of intent, on which markings of the history of Boogie Woogie stretch out in all directions. I think that's the way history stretches out. Quote, Television is neither true nor false. It's industry. Seven, five, three, two. Television made without industry, alone in a word. Six, four, three, two. Can't cause a sinking feeling. There can be a loss of trust. Six, four, two. Fear not darkness, i.e. not industry. Nor your own desire. Everybody works to be a part of industry. Be a part of industry is to be real. Six, four, three. If you're a part of industry, both in your industriousness and in the nature of your work, there is a chance that everybody will like your work because it is a part of industry. The things that are not a part of industry are not possible to like. Seven, five, two. Likeability is less important than recognition by the industry. Six, and that's a reason to be serious. case upon which the bride is entered, strapped in white against the polychrome hard surface, will become the underside, swings open, and there in the niche of the doorway facing us, the congregation stands, Lucille. Her hair is the color of the sunset, she steps toward us, the congregation, it is an awesome moment. From either side, the bridesmaid's left, and the groom's usher's right, step forward to remove her from the shell of the alcove, take her and the polychrome hard case apart. The table appears with a giant cake on which the pea monkey bride and her groom, in this case, Gwen and Ed, are reproduced in miniature. The cake is lifted from the table and Lucille is placed upon the table and the cake, which was made by God, fit her from the chest to hips, is replaced on Lucille. Her hair falls in splendor, sunset reflected on a great cascade. The table carries her, it is formed to her, and she is perfectly at rest. She has a kind of gracefulness and repose as we see people sleep. The mother of the bride appears, proud and fussy, and moves the table to the congregation. They, they are fed, fed, they are fed from the cake. cake. They eat the cake, the congregation of the watchers eat the cake. cake. Each watcher eats the, the cake, cake. they eat the cake. cake. But while this is going on, the groom's ushers take the polychrome hard case from its vertical position, the way it entered in a silent glide, with the pea monkey bride strapped in white against the polychrome hard surface, and inside, as they say, the seal, turn it to the horizon. They place it on the altar. They make in this arrangement an horizon of sort, framed by the glorious bouquets. Bouquets, bouquets as they say down, down south. Presents of flowers. And on either side, the bridesmaids and the groom's ushers are in mourning, if that's the proper word. First, let's listen to the marriage sermon. And more than that, that person sent the message about the location of the missing money in the form of the message that it was missing. I.e., about 12.45, we got a call for an accident out on the highway. Also, at 12.45, we got a call about two dogs fighting at the bank. But we had this accident out on the highway to take care of, and nobody was. Who are now, Getting hurt at the bank. So we put off the dispatch. He says, was that a good choice? He says, there wasn't any accident out on the highway. She says, we are to believe then that the dog fight was an excuse, a performance, a version, that the accident of the water thrown on the bank manager. She said, I remember now, it stopped his motion but left his passion totally intact, i.e. GP. Was no accident at all. Well, it wasn't on the highway. But this was done to cause the manager to go in to the safe for a change of clothes in order to discover that the bank had no money in the bank. He says yes. She 
He says, and who would know that his change of clothes was in the same? He says, he's the boy scout after all. He says, can you believe that dogs would stoop to such a thing? He says, well, Adam, it's hard. Oh, Donnie. Such as music is, such are the people of the Commonwealth. Oh, boy. Let's just say that contradictions are behind her. And in the backyard, God, this set of circumstances that is indescribable with our geometry, a picnic of sorts, a celebration of the changing of the light. And we glide through that chaos, facing her, watching her, studying her, not circling her, remember, circling, but not circling her. She is circling, we are circling. Now she is on the left edge, caught still in her accounting of those three decades silently. She is so beautiful. A quote, pre-industrial, unquote, 